Alrighty, welcome back to more Diablo Immortal. So last time we left off, we had to level up. We just got to 45, so now we have access to charms. Now, I did acquire a few of these, but I'm gonna go ahead and path over to the storage. And I'm gonna show you guys what a charm will actually do and how we upgrade them as um, that's a uh, part of end game content. So we're gonna go and grab all these charms because I believe you like basically disenchant other charms. I'm not sure if you can get the same, like for example, this this one we can just equip it. Um, and it doesn't have anything for our class, which is unfortunate. So we can upgrade it at the uh, charm vendor, but I'm not positive if you actually want to have your class gem because I believe it just rolls randomly. Um, but we can we can try. I'm gonna start on a barbarian one. Uh, I'm just gonna upgrade whatever one. Let's see. Oh, this is the salvage it. So if we want to upgrade a charm, it costs two. So we have to salvage two to upgrade. It says it's a random skill bonus. What I want to say is maybe the chances of getting the same class can be harder. Um, I actually have no idea, but I'm going to go ahead and salvage. Because um, what I would like to do is get necromancer skills, obviously, because that's the class that we're playing. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade the this charm. And we'll see if we get a uh, skill bonus. I don't really care about Wraith form 2% damage. It doesn't even do any damage anyways. Um, if I upgrade the Barbarian one, let's see what it gives us. Oh, you can't salvage them. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it just goes... So you can see we have Barbarian, then it's a Demon Hunter roll. And with it, what's interesting with this is... Uh, let's see if we upgrade it again. Oh, it's just two. So let's go ahead and salvage these again. Like I said, I'm not positive on this, but the reason why instead of rolling the Necromancer one, I don't care about like the, the Wraith damage because it's really not that important to me. Now let's see what we get right here because we have a Barbarian, a Demon Hunter, and a Wizard. Okay. Like I said, I wasn't positive if you... If you have a Necromancer one, can it roll another Necromancer one? I don't know. Then that's why I decided to upgrade the Barbarian, if that makes any sense. Because um, logically, you think you're a Necromancer, upgrade the Necromancer one. But um, yeah, okay, so it's telling us about the PvP Battlegrounds. Um, I might show off PvP later, but I mean, we're not going to have any Paragons. And um, that is something that can definitely affect your character uh, in Diablo. So right now, we've got what, like more... Oh, upcoming server maintenance. Um, Wednesday at 2 a.m. Okay, so that's good to know. One day's... Oh, okay. From the battle pass ends in one day. All right. So what does it have in the shop? Is it the daily reward? That's actually a really smart thing that they make you go to the... Um, the shop, and then you can check out, you know, what... What's also available, and you have, like, the daily free. But... I want to actually continue, and what we're going to do is go to the travel. We're going to travel to Act... Um, I'm going to call Act 4, and I actually really like the story in Act 4. It's really cool. We can actually race form up, maybe go a little bit faster here. But then we got to read a mysterious letter. You know, where is this one, actually? Oh, okay. When you stop looking for an answer, one is revealed. If you would strengthen sanctuary against the outsiders, hurry to Selene Basilica and hear from the inheritors of the cycle. Their old stories have never been more true. They wait for you to become a part of the telling. Okay. All right. So it wants us to go this way now. All right. Well, I might as well go ahead and do this. This will probably kind of explain, like, the Immortals thing, and then we get to become a shadow and we also get to do these other little like trials which will get us xp um i basically want to try to do most of the campaign in this because it's like a playthrough but this is kind of something i would consider important uh there's a lot of like i want to say like dialogue over here uh as it has been so shall it be okay talk to this guy you are powerful filled with strength only play place the time worn scroll in the cathedral and then you can see the power okay Place a scroll over here because we had to get to level 43 and 45 to progress the game because there's two different like options now we have to talk to something all right Standing in the ancient city of corvus deodessa the builder bestowed the eternal crown upon her son kion 
fueled by the artifact's power, Kion formed the Immortals and swore to protect Sanctuary from the burning hells. But he would not do so unwatched. Knowing that power corrupts, Deodessa charged her daughter Akiba with a heavy burden. It would be her job to ensure the Immortals were forever worthy of this gift. Should they ever fall to the burning hells, Akiba and her shadows would take their place as the defenders of Sanctuary. All right. Cycles eternal since the time of the firstborn. Deodessa has done her part to ensure the Sanctuary would be forever protected. Um, okay. It's this person, talk to them, visit this guy. Okay. So we have some update, and we gotta go to the historical archives. That ability must recharge. I must wait, it seems. And go right up over here. And here we can actually use these um, hilts to actually buy uh, items. And that can include really good things. So check out the Wall of Honor. Check out the Wall of Honor. It's like some stone, stone carving. And then I could talk to this guy. To Keon. That scroll is only found in by those truly capable of defending sanctuary you are no pretender or sense great power within you okay so he wants to uh, wants us to give him the scroll deliver the item okay so now it's been updated visions of all of us future and past bear witness okay. all right The immortals bestowed Hello, how are you doing, mate? Oh, Deodessa, the builder. The same one? Their charge to defend sanctuary against the burning hells. To use their strength to keep the relentless demons at bay. To be a beacon of hope and light. But victories are temporary, and the Immortals can never relent or yield, even if all hope seems lost. They must find the courage to stand defiant for all time. All right. But do you know about the big update on Diablo 2? There's going to be a, a really big update coming around, uh, which is awesome. Do not do I know what we're called? Okay, accept the power of the immortal. All right. The big update's gonna add a skill bar, and we can actually just push the buttons. It's gonna have like move on button. It's really good. So a huge quality of life. And then also, I guess console's getting players eight, which is a nice little feature. I'm sure there's supposed to be audio here. Keep in mind, this is beta, so, you know, things things will probably be uh, there for placeholders. Multiple shadows. Okay. This is cool. Do we get to play as the immortal? For a second here. Oh, we get to... What the heck? Okay, so this is our basic attack. We have a giant sword. We've got, like, a whirlwind ability. Oh, we have to hold it down. Okay, well that's cool. I think that's like a leap. Oh, and it creates like swords. How far can we jump? I mean, that's pretty huge. I just want to know how far we could jump. So 
playing as an immortal now. These are all the shadows. These are gonna be actual players, I think, later down the line. They were wrong. You can be worthy. You will be. All right. That's cool, though. At least everyone gets to kind of see how insane they are. And these are like actual walls. Wow. So I wonder if you encase yourself in these walls. Wait, actually, let's not do it now. Because then I'd have a really long cooldown. But, uh, or like it has a timer on it. But I'm wondering, like, can you actually, like, you control people, right? Um,. For a little bit of time, if you perfectly got all those swords, because they couldn't move unless they maybe attacked them. That was cool. I've never seen that before. All right, I like that new addition though, because before in the alpha that I played, we didn't have access to it. Uh, are you back with me? Curiosity is an important first step. If you're ready to learn more, I'm ready to teach. Remember, we are but one side of the coin. Stay as rid as much of the immortals as you wish. And when you're done, think about heading to the tavern. I'll, I'm told someone from the other side wants to speak to you. Okay. So, um, tap the three figures to find more details. Okay. Crown abilities. Uh, so the mortal leader and lieutenant. Oh, well, it just kind of closed on me. I didn't even have time to read that. Um, attack speed, create a chance in defense and healing. Uh, oh, it doesn't really explain that one. The immortal store powerful equipment. Yeah, basically one of them has to like raid the other ones. The immortal cosmetics. Okay. And I guess we're talking to the shadows now. Uh, I've been chatting with the unspoken. It doesn't surprise me. Normally, access of course, whispers restrict to our members only, but we'll make an exception to you. Head on down. Okay. All right. And there's some new things that we get to do over here as well. And eventually we get to assign in our in blood to be the other one. Right. Uh, I think we have to go through here, maybe. The assembly hall. It's like the Diablo 3 menu theme. <laughs> the unspoken. Akiba, daughter of Deodessa, founded the shadows. Though she's looking to part, her spirit is always with us. Touch the ever-burning font and let your wisdom mark you. Okay, so we gotta touch the font. Akiba just flies down, okay. You think you have what it takes to walk this path? You must work unseed, hidden in darkness as I once was. Always remember, we all want the same thing, the protection and safety of sanctuary. We test the immortals to ensure that they are worthy of the power that inherited. Hand me that scroll and we'll see the truth. Okay. Okay, so we'll deliver these items. Prepare yourself. Given and a hidden force created. One that could step up should the mightiest immortal fail. The shadows, constant challenges to the would be defenders of sanctuary. They would test the immortals, looking for weakness and apathy. Led by Akiba, the shadows would overthrow the immortals when the time was right. But even in victory, she knew her watch had just begun. For this is an eternal cycle. All right, you recognize this place, don't you? He showed you his vision. Okay. Wish we didn't, he just really wants us to let us know about the time worn scroll, okay. There we go. So we have to speak with Akiba. Battlefield Hall of a great hero, played by doubters. He fought valiantly and he won. My memory is different. Now it's time for the right of exile. Kill the immortal and claim the eternal crown as your own. I like this that they can actually like you can actually see this now in the gameplay form. The strongest, wisest, most dedicated exiled him. Okay, bring down the immortal. Ah, okay, so we're gonna have some help at least. Yeah, it looks like we got some help. I'm wondering if the immortal can change skills. I should have went to the menu to see if you can change their skills. Oh, we're destroying it really fast. Okay. 
Okay. Take the eternal crown. It has to be done. Good thing that you didn't it's good that you didn't hesitate. Okay. Should the immortals become more unworthy, our station will be there to remove them and take up the mantle always, no matter who wears the crown. Return to yourself. Think on what you've seen. Okay. So leave the vision. Oh, we got a little video here. Cool. Oh, it's like POV? First person. Wow, what the heck? That's pretty cool. Didn't expect that at all. That's definitely new. Um, now you know the truth. The morals are tasked with protecting the sanctuary. I have been given great power to do so. The shadows are the ones making sure the morals don't become corrupt or complacent. I understand. You may simply continue as an adventurer as you have, but the cycle swirls around us even if we ignore it. Okay. Now we're going to talk to him again. It is your chance to ally yourself with the shadows or mortals or neither. Listen for rumors and learn how the cycle is faring, then decide. Okay, so you get to choose which one we want. And the rumors have been unlocked. Okay. So we're going to go talk to Kane. There we go. And while we're walking Kane, we'll go accept all of our, like, dailies and, you know, all those things. So we can level up on the battle pass. And we, we will go towards the next act soon as we can finish talking to Kane. Now, as far as I'm aware of it, I think at one point it was better to actually be the shadows because there's different things that you can get depending on which side that you align with. But keep in mind it's in beta, so sometimes everything's not revealed. Uh, you're back. Did you, your secretive friends turn out to be helpful? They are skilled at fighting demons and each other. I have a lot to think about. Any further news on the world stone chart? No, nothing has changed. The stone still rests upon the mount. Our captain friend did offer you to help you with the travels. However, when you're ready, you should be waiting at the docks. Thank you once again, Kane. Okay, so there we go. And now we get to... Okay, now it wants us to reach level 46. I hope we don't actually have to get there, but it's really not that bad. We can do a couple bounties, and it might take like 5-10 minutes to do that. Although I kind of want to just progress as much as I can. And I think we can at least get to the next area, maybe do some quests over there as well. But yeah, this next act is my favorite act in the game so far. And I think it's the second to the last act, is my guess. So we're now we're going to go to the Mount uh, Zvain. This is the, um, I want to say it might be the last area. There's monks here. It's really cool looking and the, the story is great too. We'll get some new um, quests and stuff. Okay, it keeps on telling me the rumors have been unlocked. What is that? Okay, tap to see rumors. Okay. Okay, rumors can be seen in the adventurer. Oh, we're gonna check out these rumors. The tavern is your return to normalcy. Okay, I'm not gonna read all of these. Feel free to pause, whatever. Um, you can go on raids. We'll do more of that like later because I'm I'm gonna consider that more of like end game content. My whole goal is to show you guys the the main story campaign, which is actually what I'm mostly interested in, honestly, in Diablo Immortal more than anything itself. So these are level 46, okay, that's fine. We should be able to kill these. I think it wants us to reach 46 for the, the content, but we can we can kill stuff and we'll hopefully get uh, level 46 very, very soon. Even though it considers the area to be like, oh, strong. I mean, one level shouldn't be that much of a difference, right? way we can get all the waypoints as well and we can show you the new area but i don't know if we can even get to the, the story until 46 but we're like right there anyways with leveling the fastest way to actually level is probably going to be through the bounties and the monster essences that we can get Well, we also have these XP globes, but they honestly don't give very much. In the very, very beginning of the game, they grant you quite a bit. Oh, just a chest hanging out. Nice. Let's see if it's, yeah, it's just a white item. 
But we'll have to get to the harder difficulties to get better drops, obviously. Which is kind of how any action RPG is, right? It's like something's going on over here. And we could start doing some of the events. That's actually something I, I should show off as well. Um, there's just going to be events that just happen. Oh, we should be able to participate in those as well. Dang, those guys are melting my minions fast, too. What's this over here? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, you know what these altars are actually for? Um, they're for a boss mechanic that you have to, like, hit to stop the boss or do damage to it or break the shields or something like that. I remember it uh, before. Earth Monastery. Let's go try to get uh, some of the waypoints. Oh, there we go. So I can't teleport to it. This way, when we actually have hit level 46, we can actually uh, just teleport and we'll actually get the content done much faster. I think the XP bar is going up, right? I'm trying to see like how fast it's going up. those right now there's no point all right miss valley dang there's just zero elites I'm looking for them Oh, here we go. Oh, that thing hit really hard. Wow. I really wish I had a corpse explosion now. Halfway. A few more hits and he's gone. Nice. Oh, he dropped us a legendary. Nice. Let's check out what that does. All right. We'll have to visit identifier. Oh, it's going to navigate us towards one. That's right, because we don't have this area unlocked yet. Let's get this waypoint at the top we can and we will go check out that legendary i think that's the first legendary that we gotten as a like a drop the rest are just from like doing stuff in the game can we do anything with this i think a boss spawns in here and he's like super incredibly hard if i remember all right like absolutely we're we're not gonna have a chance let's try though why not we got this condi shrine He is pretty hard, dang. Ooh, yes. Very hard indeed. He does also like reset, so we can't like disengage and re-engage him. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have the uh, sustain on this. No, <laughs> no way. So yeah, I was right. He is hard, but Oh wait, three remaining recharged in town. Oh, okay, that's totally fine. I'm gonna rise in town because I wanna identify my thing anyways. So it's uh, actually totally intentional. So we could uh, get the um, free, free TP back. Okay, so let's check out the weapon. So what does this one do? So our current one, remember it's uh, command skeletons increase damage, command skeletons, oh, it's the exact same one. It's just a higher score. Okay, cool. 
So we have extra damage. Nice. What is this green thing right here? Oh, recommendations. Oh, to, to be like more powerful. Because we got to reach level 46. Uh, do we have any? Okay, there we go. That's a big one. Okay, nice. So PVP. Uh, some more hilts. So I think we're just going to complete more stuff. We can, we can probably go back over there. It just keeps on wanting us to get the uh, level up. Um, oh, yes. oh, it even shows us where we died. I think that little gravestone is where we died. So what I'm going to do is we'll level up. And since we're right there, I think we could do this in a few minutes. Uh, what I'm going to do first is we're going to go back to... Okay. Oh, oh, there's Mountains of Maine and then Frozen Tundra. Okay. So we're going to go to um, Westmarch. And we will go right over here. We'll do a Rift. And you can see our XP is so close. We do one, I want to say one or two Rifts, which only take like a minute. So I'm just going to keep them in here because it's it's just part of the game. And maybe we'll get something good. I want to see how much more damage we get with this new staff. And so we'll see if it feels like we're melting content. I don't think we will. Um, like Diablo 3 was the action RPG where you got an, an item and you would feel the power instantly because it's like an insane multiplier. But this grants us a um, reaching Paragon 0. Okay. Let's go. Let's go do this one. So we'll do this challenge rift. And challenge rifts, the first time you do them, you will get good XP. Um, eventually, though, it, it kind of dries up. Like, if you're going to do the same one over and over again, because it'll be like a lower level. It's almost like doing kind of like a GR. Oh, we were taking... Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah. You know what? We're going to have to put that bone armor back on. Like, you'll definitely notice when you get towards, like, the end game, the final act, things get a lot more difficult. But yeah, I'm going to definitely swap these skills. And these, I think you can swap skills, right? Okay, cool. And we're about to get Bone Spirit as well as our Golem. So let's go ahead and throw Bone Armor over the Wraith. So we can actually tank the damage. I'm not going to kill every single thing. I just want to go straight to the Elites. And that's why I like the Bone Armor. Although now we were stuck. We can't move. Oh, we got a double elites too. Nice, that's good. Ooh, we're getting like really low. Two more seconds to pop our heal. There we go. Bone armor makes things much, much easier. All right. Get him down. Alright, get to this elite. Oh, let's see if we can use that fire thing and I'm gonna start burning them up Ooh, nice that was a really cool mechanic that Diablo 3 did but I feel like it wasn't really something that a lot of people knew about or actually used I mean it can stun the enemies but it's usually because you can melt content so fast depending on the uh, the tier of the greater roof but Okay, we need to kill like just a couple more trash mobs and we should be okay to go. All right, time for the boss. Our ulti's almost up too. Patient. 
You know, it might be actually smarter to not actually tank that attack. The reason why is because, like, you get knocked out for quite a long time. Oh, drags us to him, though. Alright, this is his last health bar, and we'll see how much XP we get. We're basically... I want to say, like, 85%. Alright. Yeah, maybe, maybe we might have to do one more. I want to say. I don't think you get XP as soon as you exit it. I think it's just right there. So one more should basically do it, and that took us maybe about two minutes. And then we can actually do like the next act here. Okay, next one. And these do get quite challenging. And you guys can see like uh, rifts, even though we basically showed them off. I'm just gonna keep it in here because otherwise I have to cut and then do a next part and then eh, this is only like maybe five minutes. Okay, let's go straight to the elite group. Oh, this, now it's saying this is too hard. It's okay. I've done it where it said the monster difficulty is too hard before. It is a lot more difficult though. If, if that thing comes up. Oh, it's got Waller too. That's no fun. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Oh, nice. Another stacks of leads. Our damage is still really good. No problem at all. It's mostly just the the defense category that uh, is a little bit lackluster for our build right now. Ooh, what do we got? A frenzied shrine. Crit hit chance. Nice. So I guess the, that combo is the, the conduit can crit. Ooh, we need some globes, there we go. Bone armor, so basically one more elite should do the job. If we can get to one more elite, there we go. Oh, the density's kind of big here, though. Oh, he's got that like wind effect. Ooh, we ripped. Oh, all the all the monsters reset. I feel like the bosses are actually not that bad. Like for these rifts. 
Like, I'm getting damaged more by the, the trash mobs. I should summon the boss after this little pack over here. Nice. And then we'll, we should be pretty much ready to go. If not, there's an area in the shadows that I can show you guys that will be actually new content. If I have to. But we may just get it on this one. Two more health bars. Sometimes with all the summons, it can be kind of hard to see. These little like orange things coming out, or we gotta kind of dodge them. All right, last health bar. He's almost gone. Woo! And we leveled up perfectly. Okay, nice. So now we can go do whatever we needed to hit level 46 for, which is what I'm hoping for is the continuation of the campaign. I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head. I just knew that we had to hit level 45 to progress, but then you also hit level 46 to progress, but they didn't give us enough things to do at level 45. So I feel like maybe that could be something that could be adjusted. Um, oh wait, we actually got um, something over here. I gotta claim these two, whoops. And we can use those hilts to actually get, um, like, legendary gems. Like, actually, uh, okay, here we go. Oh, now it wants us to go to Mount Zavane. All right, perfect. Okay. That's weird, because for us to get level 45, maybe I would hope that we got level 46 via the quest. All right. So did we get any new items? We got some new shoulders, okay. Throw those in. So upgrade. First kill of the day. Our rare crest. Okay. So ah, there you go. Old man, so you're looking for passage to Mount Zavane. Well, our ship can take you to a nearby port, but you need to take a caravan up to the mountain. If you're ready, we can head out this hour. Perfect. Even though we already like kind of went over there. <laughs> Alright. I think we're like 40 minutes in. We haven't even really started the act, but we did show off a lot of cool and new things. And I think that sh selecting shadows and mortals is a cool idea that you get to like pick a side or you can remain neutral, which is interesting too. Okay, so search Mount Zvain for the Worldstone Shard. Okay. Wanna give us a direction? Alright, there we go. Oh, I need to swap off of the bone armor. Do we have one of the waypoints here? Oh, there we go. Hey. Oh, you know what? It's just gonna... I would have needed to went back to town. There's a purple here, though. Let's kill the purple. Oh, we got people already fighting. Nice. Oh, they won't drop loot for you. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting if someone's already tagged them. I mean, I guess we're helping them. I think they should always drop loot, as long as the monster has at least like 30% HP or something like that. Like I can understand if they're like like one HP and you do like one damage. But then again, what's wrong with support builds, right? I'm just gonna swap this skill right now. 
Okay. We're good. We survived it. <laughs> yeah, I would say in this in this act, the game's difficulty definitely feels like it spikes, but when we have all these monk guards. So I've talked to him. Need something reforged? No, I just wanted to do the quest. It's... Oh, it wants us to go, like, right here. Oh, okay. It's just, like, somewhere in the town. Okay. That sounds like combat I've had. We have a monk, we have a druid also in the game. A traveler and a well-armed one at that. The cars have grown more aggressive, uh, have grown aggressive as of late. I would not recommend traveling Mount Zvain alone for the time being. I see your point, these goatmen do seem troublesome. How can I help? A good question, but one that is not mine to answer. I was on my way to speak with the target of these attacks, the sons of Rakis. Perhaps you wish to join me. Okay. Follow Oza into the Sentinel's Watch. Okay. We have come to speak with your captain. A monk from the temple. Open the gate. Oh, you know what? We're probably supposed to spawn in on the, at that area, but since I did walk and got the waypoints, it might have just teleported us. And our men are not faring much better. We need new options or we forced to abandon our post. Wait, it appears we have some opportune. A Verd Verdani monk, unbelievable. We were hoping the monastery might send us aid, but we'd expected acolytes, not someone of your position. Regardless, I'm deep, uh, deeply thankful for both of you and this adventurer's arrival. Our peoples may have had their differences, Captain, but on this mountain, when any of us suffers, we all share the pain. Tell us of the Karza, what have they done? The nearby village was overrun. They've gathered those we could, but the Karza have occupied the village. Akrat knows what they're doing to those who survived the attack. And now the beasts sail our gates. We need your help. With the two of you, the light may have given us a chance, but the cars are swarm against us from two separate fronts. We will need to deal with both if we are to survive. If the rumors are about a single monk being worth a battalion of men hold true, I would prefer her guard to guard the front. With her help, we can cut off the cars in the village from the reinforcements. All right. We isolate the cars in the village. Okay, and then they go the other route. Bold plan, all we have left. If the monk guards us from the north, you and I can fight through the village adventure, but we need to move quickly. Okay, no problem. Okay, now we have to listen to the other person's plan. Oh, now we just follow the lieutenant. Alright, we have to defeat the cars. Are you all right? No, they took the others. Those damn things emerged from the village so quickly we barely had time to react. They were taken alive. We had no time to be wasting. Agreed. You two pull forward bell further back and defend the gate, and then we'll go up in the front. Okay. So we have to reach the raised village. Who's the chest? Is it going to drop another white item and like two piles of gold? Oh, we didn't even open it up. Let's see. A white item and two piles of gold. Yeah. So I think that that definitely needs to be a buffed. Well, that was pretty cool that he just ate the other guy. I'm guessing he becomes more powerful. Examine the corpse. Bon, this is a fresh wound. He must have tried to es escape. Oh, no, no. Oh, controller, there we go. Okay. All right, we're back. Looks like uh, it just had a small crash, so... Yeah, it, may, it may happen, you know, it's beta. 
So we have to now remove the debris from the well. Where's this? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, it smacked us. Okay, there we go. Talk to the guard. Oh, he was there. Thank the blessed light you two arrived. Vaughn, he distracted them and was able to take shelter, but the debris I thought I was done for. Kryn, is where still alive? How many others were taken? Five. There were five of us. The cars were dragging us towards some kind of sacrifice in the town square. Vaughn managed to break us free, but the others weren't as lucky. Okay. I haven't seen him since. Uh, then since uh, then there's a chance that they're still alive. Come on, adventurer. We need to head to the town square immediately. Okay. A solo story dungeon. Okay. Rescue him. Okay. He's definitely being hung up though. I mean, the other people are literally completely destroyed. Like they're already sacrificed. Like they're just bones and blood. Be careful, the circle, it's a summoning ring. A shaman. Okay, he was pretty easy. the ritual all right I understand how this is happening I don't understand how this is happening the cars are primitive this kind of magic should be beyond their capabilities hmm, I've seen like rings like this one before once and worth them one Another in dark wood. The sigil belongs to the cult of damnation. Each time I've seen it, they were bring the foul minions of hell into this world. I've seen no sign of the others. Whatever's going on, let's go back. Okay. The fight isn't won yet. All right. So, return to Captain Barracks. Okay. So, we gotta go all the way back over there. It's not the elite here, but I just want to get to the... Uh, the campaign's content. But if there is like a uh, boss that's like a red or an orange, I will try to fight those ones. You've returned. Uh, Kieran reported back as well. The others. Vaughn and Will fell. The others were taken. It seems the cars were sacrificing villagers to create a summoning. Okay. A summoning. The secret behind the cars seems endless. Onslaught. Okay. A monk friend has been battling against their main forces nearly nonstop since you left. Meet up with her and press the assault on the cars. Okay. Let's go. That's an uh, amulet. So I go. Reach them. Okay. I'm guessing we talk to them. Oh, okay. Oh, these monsters are cool. They actually do like an, an actual attack and that's not even like an elite. Stay back from another attack come in any moment. Something drove the curse into a powerful rage. That wasn't you, was it? Possibly. We learned the cars are employing their same hellish magic used by the cultists of Skarn. If the goatmen are trying to deliver a world stone shard to the demon lord, things are about to get much worse. We gotta put an end to this. A shard? No, that's not possible. I know precisely where the world stone shard you speak of is. It was recovered years ago, and it's safe within our monastery. Still, I share your concerns, and we need to find out more. Sadly, the cars have been driven into such a rage, I have been unable to do anything but protect the survivors in Sentinel's Watch. I cannot leave here, but you can. Investigate the cars, and then put an end to these attacks. Do that, and we can discuss things further and what you're looking for. Okay. So we just gotta go over here and kill more, more of them. Oh, is this an XP shrine, or what's this one? Empowered shrine. Might as well make some good use of this. I 
know what? There's just so many monsters here. Wow. I mean, it, this attack is really fast. Oh, there's a goblin over here. Let's get the little goblin. Oh, he's a runner. Let's see what he dropped. Just a bunch of gold. Okay. Okay. So we have to go enter the Karza den and eliminate the Karza threat. I'm guessing we gotta kill them all. This, uh... Death is patient. Okay. I guess it took him a second for them to actually die. Now we've got to find the lair. By flesh, be born. By blood, find life. Let the damned... Oh. Couldn't finish the, <laughs> the rest of the virtual words. Our power is nearly spent. The portal will not hold here. Well, he's picking up two people. Then your purpose has been served. Talk to the mysterious friend. You must be the Dravik the cultists keep shouting for. Yes, I am. You must be the shard seeker. You cannot help Orza or these people. No, you will fail at reaching the stone and you will have what is mine. The God of Damnation has spoken. Okay. Oh. A rolling horror. The symbol it is the same in the village. The cultists and that monk were behind the cards or attacks. But why expend this effort? He mentioned Oza's name. Perhaps she can reveal more. Okay, let's so go leave. Go back to Martin's vein. We got 90,000 experience. I don't think we leveled up since, since then. So 90,000? Let's see how much that gave us kind of on the, the progress bar. That didn't seem to give us an insane amount. Okay, so we gotta go back to Oza. Let's just go do that. What's this one? Is that conduit? Oh, there's a yellow. Let's take out that. Maybe get a, a new legendary. Rex Scar. Okay. Uh, we did get a yellow at least off of it though. Okay. 
Okay. You returned. The goatman stormed the barricade a few moments ago, and things went quiet. I assume you were successful then. Yes, the ritual's no more. The cars are being manipulated by a man named Dravik. He seemed to be waiting for you to arrive. Dravik, waiting for me? We trained together in our youth, but he was exiled. Are you sure he was working with the cultists? Yes, he made that quite clear when he summoned a demon to kill me. Damn it. Dravik is a Ver Veradani monk, just like I am, but he is rash and impulsive. He never learned control and we all suffered for his recklessness if he is here we must uncover his plot lives depend on it there must be a trail somewhere chaos like the kind Dravek and his minions unleashed is rarely clean so we gotta travel to the misty valley you're right come this way i have an idea what's oh, another goblin I don't know if I've ever gotten anything good off a, a treasure goblin yet. Maybe this this will this will be the one. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. Okay. There's no yellow. Okay, dark turret. The fog like this is unrelenting out. Oh, I have to kill everything. Fog is unrelenting and nightmares swarm within. I hope. Uh, what well, hope is there of finding it tracks in a place like this? Eyes may be deceived, but land itself always bears the scars of her actions. Zame, god of mountains, I beseech you, lend me your sight. Reveal the path once taken so we may follow. The mantra is working. Friend, I need you to be my fist while I commune with the mountain. The nightmare creatures will be drawn to the light. Do not let them near. Kill 15 things? Okay. Okay. I'm sure he lost half of a life, okay. Have to open the codex, yes. After we finish off this, because the game doesn't pause itself. There, there. The spirit orb is complete. Okay. Okay. There we go. Got whatever it wanted. What is this? Okay. Follow the spirit orb. Hundreds of years ago, Ivgorod fought the, fought back something. Like how he started shooting me, I started shooting him. <laughs> now we have to defend her. Okay. Just gotta do another thing. Let this sacrifice be the first of many. Yes, my lord, I can hear you now. The blood ritual pierced the veil long at Okay. Trevac, what bargain did you make? Quickly, follow the orb once more. What's that up ahead? There, on the bridge. Oh. Examine Torn Drum. This mountain is cursed. Why the Order thought to send us here, I cannot possibly fathom. What good is tracking the exile through a land 
that will most certainly kill him. We were ordered to avoid entanglements in the monastery, but that left us with few options for staging around or for staging ground. We've uh, or is it? We've been able to find some small safety in a cavern on the edge of the mist. It will serve well enough while we continue the search. The days seem to blend together, yet we still search. If Master Vitalia's murder has been has hidden on the mountain, he will be found and brought to justice, even if we find as a corpse. Okay. Or even if what we find is a corpse. Okay. Be cautious. Dark magic lingers here. Revenant Mage, okay. Let me search for quest objectives. Okay, search the cave thoroughly. Okay, so we gotta search for clues. The nightmares hinder our progress at every step. Oh, you know what? These are things are attacking us, I think. Little, like, beetles. Okay. Examine the monk shrouds. The master refused to tell us more about this Drefek beyond a description of his face. Why is there such a secrecy over an exile? I know it's not my place to question the sight of the patriarchs, but this seems like a fool's errand. If he's a murderer, what could possibly bring him back into a mountain where the very act took place? Okay. Okay, there's a spot on the map that's marked. Okay. Gotcha. Let's look at this. Some journal entries in map. Have you heard of a Zacrum Chapel here? No, but it does not surprise me. Much of the Zacrum built upon the mountain has been lost in the mist, and few people are willing to, to brave the nightmare grounds to find such a place. It would be a perfect place to hide. You're right. That's certainly worth a look. The map you showed the chapel at the center of the battlefield. The nightmares are strong there. Do not let your guard down, down your guard. All right. So we'll get the waypoint. Okay. Perfect. All right. Kill the cultist flame bearer. The flame of hells leaves not even ash. Oh, we have to look at this. Extinguish the flames. Okay. The abandoned... This abandoned chapel serves as someone... Okay. Tayev, I miss you endlessly. Why would Zame take you away and leave me behind? How can I go on? The master tells me I will find peace in time. But I don't want peace. I want my brother. Everything has gone wrong. Gods, I killed him, and the world's sun shard. The only thing that could bring you back is out of my reach. If the master would just let me have it, forgive me, Tayev. Okay. Scorch people. Our Lord has made it clear he will wait no longer. Three shards have already been destroyed. No more shall be taken from him. Deliver the bodies to the ritual sites. If we require more, take them or lay down your lives. Damnation has come for the guilty who live upon this mountain and they will suffer for their sins okay i never knew he'd fallen so far he became distant after his brother had died in the tundra of area i wish he told me i could have helped him i would have don't say that to yourself oza this is not your fault you're right and yet some part of me will always bear this guilt i could have stopped him i could have reached out to him in his pain. Perhaps then none of this would have happened. 
Now is not the time to lose yourself in the reflection. You must defend Dravak and stop him. Do you know of this shrine he mentions in the letter? Yes, it's to the east, not far from the old monastery grounds. Okay. I feel like she moves a little bit slow. By Yitar, look, an acolyte from the monastery. What could have brought him out here? Friend, stay back. I will entreat Zames. I got as we get interrupted. Uh, this guy wants some too? Okay, he, he just saw that and was like, nope. Okay. Oh. Dang it. I wanted to skip like the first part of the dialogue. But I guess it's, it's, it's another protect me while I do something. The demons are everywhere. Form a defensive line. Do not let them. We cannot hold much longer. I will find Oza. I promise. The nightmares will not end. Okay. I feel like the text is way too fast. I need to slow it down a little bit. I, don't, I feel like I can read things pretty fast, but this is just like way too fast. Gods, he came to warn me of an attack. He spoke of the demons in great number. The cultists must have opened a rift into the burning house. It's the only explanation for an assault of that magnitude. We have to divide our efforts once again. It is the only way we will survive this. I will return to the monastery and rally the brothers, but you must stop that ritual. The old temple Dravik uh, wrote is further to the east. Follow the path and you'll find it. Okay. Understood. I'll head to the monastery as soon as I can. I'll keep them away from the shard or the world will suffer like never before. All right. Let's go this way. Even though there's like a yellow monster. If it's an orange monster, I will always kill those because I believe those will have like a very good chance to drop a legendary. And we need more legendaries. Kill the cultists, okay. Okay, these are the cultists that we actually need to kill. Okay. You can sh constant interruption to have need to finish. Oh, looks like he's getting eaten up by some of the scar. And I, I have you now, mortal. The three, three shards are destroyed. Fight the uh, cultist acolyte. Oh, he moves. Oh, it makes a clone. Oh, wonder if it's this one. You know, just, we just pop the ulti. We'll figure out which one it is real fast. Okay, there we go. Something fell from the priest bones, another map. A symbol again, another ritual. It isn't too far. Okay. Let's see if we have any uh, other pieces of gear to... Uh, equipped for upgrades. Nope. Okay. See, it's really easy in this game to check for upgrades. Oh, that's right. We can't auto path yet. Um, because it's literally like you see the up arrows later down the line. though, it w won't be as easy because you actually have to read, which I actually prefer. I hope that it just works l just like that, like from the start. But I can get from the viewpoint of it being a mobile game, they want it to be like you know more accessible for people. And some people that never played a Diablo game maybe don't want to do that, especially earlier on. Okay. So Gravex got two guards that he just... 
sacrifice. He, he has them impaled. Sucking their blood. Alright. Defeat the demons. I'll go through the portal. Oh, we have to rescue the sacrifices. Oh, okay. Can I get him down from there? Well. Oh, he's dead anyways. Oh, no. Is he going to be able to get back up for that? I mean, he was impaled. Oh, he's walking away. All right. He's just walking it off. Ah, oh, where's the last one? Oh, is this one? Did we talk to him? Hmm. Oh, right here. Okay. Destroy the portal. There's a lot of them coming out, but like our, our minions are just melting as they come out. Kill the emerging demons. Okay. Conduit Globe. Your grave beckons. All right. I think we still have a lot more content in this one. We'll, we'll finish up this like part of the quest though. Kill demons and destroy the catapults. Finish this little like part up. So I don't think we could, if I could complete it within the next like 10 minutes for this act, which I'm pretty sure we cannot do. At least get to the next like quest part. But I like this story. Um, basically he's upset that his brother is gone. Oza, thank gods. Thank the gods you've been here. and the demons attack the monastery, uh, monastery directly, and we have been fighting for our lives. I was able to warn the masters, and our best men have been guarding the Worldstone Shard. We should join them in the shrine. Okay. Oh, well, we got more stuff to kill. Alright, well, we'll at least reach the shrine. We'll check out this area. I think... I don't know if this is, like, uh, different than what I remember from the Alpha. I do remember just enjoying like this whole like quest storyline. Oh, we got a purple Drays on the Wanderer. I'm gonna kill this guy for sure. One more bar, and he'll be dead. Oh, he destroyed my skeleton. Wow. All right, well, we got a chest. Let's see, what do we get? No, no legendary. Okay, let's talk to Oza. I couldn't save them. This monastery has stood for over 500 years. Even the Zakharum army did not breach its walls. Now Dravek has brought it low in a day. Oza, a powerful demon lord, has set his forces against this monastery. We cannot grieve now. 
Lest the sacrifice of your people be in vain. So many lives lost. A monastery in shambles. All for that stone. So he killed them all and grabbed the stone. I guess we're watching maybe what happened in the past. Because, I mean, we're kind of just sitting there. Not... No Oza. Not for the stone. I think he said for Tave, which is his little brother. So we got a quest reward. Some blue pair of gloves. Alright, well, let's at least kill these demons. I'm guessing maybe our character is not supposed to be there. Okay, beta, so... I think it could be placeholders. Because that wouldn't really make sense while we just stand there and just watch them. You know, take the uh, stone. Oh, all the monster acolytes here. Dravek took the shard into the terrace. After the traitor. Okay, so then we gotta go to the training grounds for seeking out Drevek. But there's where we're gonna go ahead and end it for right now. But hope you guys enjoyed this part of our uh, playthrough. Like I said, this is probably one of the coolest stories, but there could be even better stories um, in the next act. But I don't know if we have access to it yet in this beta. But that's where I'm gonna go ahead and call it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace.